Hi, I'm Ken Hom. Welcome to my kitchen. Dim sum are usually savory snacks like spring rolls, prawn dumplings, and spare ribs. These delicious dishes are now becoming popular worldwide. My favorite has always been steamed pork dumplings, filled with meat, crispy sweet water chestnut, and then steamed to perfection. And that's what I'm going to cook for you now. First, you have to make your filling. And I like to mix about four ounces of raw prawns together with about 12 ounces of minced fatty pork. This will give it a very nice flavor. To that, I add four ounces of finely chopped fresh or tin water chestnuts. And these you can buy in your supermarket. And they add also a very nice crunch. Two tablespoons of finely shredded Parma ham or lean smoked bacon. And this will add a very nice flavor. One tablespoon of light soy sauce. One teaspoon of dark soy sauce. One tablespoon of Shaoxing rice wine or dry sherry if you can't get it. Three tablespoons of finely chopped spring onions and two teaspoons of finely chopped fresh root ginger. Two teaspoons of sesame oil, and that will add a very nice nutty flavor. And two teaspoons of sugar. Now, I'm just going to lightly beat one egg white, add this to bind the filling. Now I like to use my hand to just make sure that this is very well mixed. I want to finish that by seasoning it with a little bit of salt and a good grinding of freshly ground black pepper, just like that. That smells quite aromatic already. Now, for this recipe, you'll need wonton skins, which you can get fresh or frozen from Chinese grocers or good supermarkets. You want to take one wonton skin and place a portion of the filling in the middle of the skin, as I'm doing here. Now, as a rough guide, you should get about 40 dumplings out of this quantity of filling. To wrap the dumplings, bring up the sides of the wonton skin, like this. Very easy. Now, tap the dumpling on the bottom to flatten the base. The top should be left open, exposing the filling. Now, here are some that I filled earlier. Finally, we're going to gently steam the dumplings. I've set up a steamer in my wok, and I put in about two inches of water. Oil the inside of the steamer so that the dumplings won't stick. But let me show you what we used to do in our restaurant. We line the steamer with blanched cabbage leaves. And you can even use it as a serving dish. Now, I brought the water to a boil. And now I'm just going to put in the dumplings. They look so attractive like this. Cover the steamer very tightly and turn the heat down to low. Let the dumpling steam gently for about 20 minutes. The process of slow steaming gives them a more pronounced and yet subtle taste and texture. You can see how easy it is to make authentic Chinese dim sum the foolproof way. Stir-fried beef with oyster sauce is one of the easiest dishes to make. It's perfect for any busy cook who wants to create something special. Start with a pound of lean beef steak for this dish. Cut the beef into slices about this long and about a quarter of an inch thick. 
cutting against the grain of the meat. Now I'm going to make a simple marinade for the beef. First by adding one tablespoon of light soy sauce, two teaspoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of Shaoxing rice wine, or you can use dry sherry if you can't find this, and two teaspoon of corn flour. Mix this really well so that the beef is thoroughly coated with that marinade. Let it sit for about 20 minutes while the meat absorbs all of those exotic flavors. Now, to cook the beef, get your wok very hot. Then add three tablespoons of groundnut oil. And when it's really hot and slightly smoking like this, add the marinated beef slices and stir fry for about five minutes. Now, you can tell they're done when they're lightly brown like this. Now that the beef is done, remove it from the wok and drain it well into a colander set inside a bowl. Reheat the wok and add three tablespoons of oyster sauce. Now this is a rich sauce used in many Chinese dishes and it goes especially well with beef. Believe it or not, it doesn't actually taste fishy. In fact, its flavor is meaty and rich. Here's a tip. If you dilute some oyster sauce with a little vegetable oil, you can make a great dipping sauce for vegetables. Now, bring the oyster sauce to a simmer, and then put in the beef slices. They've been thoroughly drained now of all the oil. And just toss it thoroughly in the sauce. Heat the beef through and then turn the mixture onto a serving platter and garnish it with some finely chopped spring onions like that. That's my foolproof way to cook stir-fried beef with oyster sauce. Nothing could be easier.